Hello there, everybody, and welcome to another Alexa look. Today, we're taking a look at Peglin, which is a basically Peggle roguelike. Um, now, a couple of these have kind of popped around here in the past couple of years. Um, whether or not they were all good, I'll let you use your imagination. Uh, but I played this one a little bit off camera, and I'm kind of in love with it. I think it's really, really good. This is just the demo uh, for the game. It has not released yet, but there's a decent amount of content in the demo to check out. Um, so it's the perfect Alexa look kind of game. You know, a good one to get you get the game on your wish list so that when it comes out uh, later this year, you can hop in and play. So this is a game by Red Nexus Games. You'll be able to find it linked in the description down below on Steam. Without further ado, let me hop in and show you a little bit of what's going on. So immediately, it kind of claims to take a little bit of inspiration from Slay the Spire. Um, I'm sure that you're shocked and stunned by that. <laughs> Looking at the screen and how it sits. Um, pretty, pretty standard Slay the Spire style. Uh, mapping so immediately you're thrown into what is a peggle grid dude um those of you that have never played peggle allow me to explain you throw a rock from the top it hits pegs and then in peggle you're trying to hit you know certain colored pegs and then when you hit all of that kind you're good in this game it's it's very different um you are this little goblin on the top there's little enemies on the right they're gonna slowly make their way across the screen to you um, each peg that we hit is going to do damage to the front enemy equal to whatever our current thing is that we're throwing. And you can see that we actually have a stone here, but we also have a stone here, a stone here, and a dagger right here. So we're going to throw a stone right now. Our next one's going to be a stone. Our next one's going to be a stone. Then we're going to throw a dagger. Now, what does this mean? So two damage means that every time we hit a peg, it's going to do two damage to this guy. So if I, you know, you know, hit this peg just right, and then it slides down this. Now, the friction in the game is a little bit jank, I'm going to tell you. So it's not going to get this entire thing. But this would be, you know, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 24 damage, right? Um, a lot of damage. This big R is a reset peg, which brings all of the pegs you've destroyed back again, allowing you to then do more damage and stuff. This exclamation point is a crit button. When we hit the crit, instead of the doing the damage on the left, you do the damage on the right. So that's where the dagger is interesting, because normally everything is worth one. You hit the crit, Everything is worth seven, which is insane. Um, and it's a deck builder, right? So you're going to end up with more kinds of stones and throwable things. You can level them up and get upgrades. There's items. It's brilliant. Like it's actually just a completely brilliant idea uh, for a game. The bomb also, uh, you have to hit twice. And then if the bomb goes off, it does 50 damage to all of the enemies. And you're going to see that more enemies are going to shuffle in here. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to play the freaking game, right? So you saw the refresh happen. Now you saw the crit happen. We're up to 88 damage right now. And then he throws a rock and that guy gets obliterated. <laughs> So immediately like a really good first turn for us. Um, let's get double reset. That was very interesting. So the reset spawned at just the right time. We do 26 damage to this guy. He moves forward a little bit and now another guy comes in behind him. And this is how all the levels go. Um, the enemies are pretty drastically different and they have some pretty unique uh actions and attacks that make uh things interesting so you can also see that our rock is not piercing but there's a chance that you're gonna get another attack item that gives you piercing and that's where the deck building comes in uh because you can do some really interesting stuff you'll also notice the trash can right this actually allows us to trash a current thing we have so we can do it once uh, so I can right click. I'm not going to do it because I want to use the dagger. Um, but I can right click and I'll go to my next thing. So you can kind of plan your turns ahead a little bit. Um, and it's a, a little bit of a uh, more forgiving kind of style to, to go off of. So we have hit the bomb. I also managed to just like unfortunately miss the crit, which is insanely sad. Um, but oh well. 
Uh, you can also, so when you trash something, it'll reset where the crit is. So it's kind of like if you're confident you're not going to hit the crit, it might be smart to just reset. So I, I probably could have reset on that last one, but I was, I was kind of confident that we could get some good stuff going. So right here, this is going to be uh, an absolutely disgusting amount of damage, to be honest. And we, we don't even need this damage. 108 to this guy who has three health. <laughs> this is where we would have liked to have that, you know, going before. So this crit is horrible, so I'm going to refresh. It does move him forward, though, which is scary. Okay. This is not a good attack for me. So he's now right up next to me. If I don't kill him right here, then we are going to uh, take damage, which is not good. I'm going to try to get this to drop. Uh, this could actually work. Oh my God, dude. Get to 80. Oh my God, he's insane. Okay, that, that went really well. <laughs> that went really well. So now we can add a new, uh, new ball to our, our deck. So we got the Bramble Ball. A 2-4 uh, applies Bramble on hit for two turns. Bramble deals six damage per Bramble level to passing enemies. So say we hit a guy with a Bramble, then the guy behind them moves forward. He's going to take damage. Um, interesting. Polter Begeist. <laughs> Needs a little bit of work, I would say. Um, passes through pegs while traveling upwards. And then the attack pierces all enemies. So this is, this is very cool. <laughs> I have to take the cool one. Let, let's add that. Kind of jank, but kind of cool. Um, and now we can pick our path. So question marks can be like events in Slay the Spire, or it can be anything, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, I only played like 20 minutes, so I don't know everything going on in this game. I've never seen the Poltergeist, but I have seen the Bramble Ball. Let's, let's go for the question mark just to see what happens, right? Um, could get interesting. We, we probably could also plan out our pathing as we go ahead here. So you may want to, you know, stick left, perhaps. Woods grow darker and darker as you progress until you find the clearing where it is pouring rain. As you walk into the middle of the clearing, I'm struck by lightning. Okay. You shiver as the energy courses through you, but it harmlessly congeals in your satchel in the form of a lightning orb. Okay. Uh, cool. So, okay. Lightning orb. It's a 2-3. Can target any enemy on the screen. So can I choose? How would I choose? I don't know. Um, lightning hits an additional nearby peg every bounce. Okay, I'm gonna have to see that in action. Because <laughs> I, I don't know what that means, right? I don't know what that means. Maybe I'm stupid? There's a chance I'm stupid. But you reach a clearing with a strange amount of crows circling above. You don't think much of it until they start to drop stones on you. I can use my satchel to catch the stones, and I get plus three stones, but you don't necessarily want... You know, it's like a basic strike in Slay the Spire. I don't really want stones, so I'm actually just going to run, and I'm going to lose 15 health. I, I think it's, it's one of those situations, dude, where I'm not sure I made the right play. Okay, guess we're going this way. <laughs> That's fine. You know what? I can take a fight. A fight's not too bad, dude. Let's do it. You, you don't live life uh, not going for fights, right? So let, let, we got to we gotta at least try. Now, we had, do have to hit the crit. A seven just ain't cutting it, dude. A seven just ain't cutting it. So we, we don't like to see that. I will say, so the game, my, my only real complaint that I have about it is the, the cursor to actually like show where the ball's hitting can be wacky. So like right now, it, it looks like this is going to... Uh, go straight down and hit those pegs it will 100 percent hit this so i don't like that because it does make it like actually really hard to tell where you're hitting um oh god we we have set off a bomb also i love the the poltergeist action um where it can go up through so they all take 50 which is lovely that was so cool okay that was so cool and then lightning orb Lightning hits an additional nearby peg every bounce. Oh, okay. And the lightning, he just hit him up in the sky. That was super cool. Okay, so let's view our orbs. 
and we can upgrade our orbs um, at the end of the room. Very cool. So Poltergeist is good, but we can make it even better. Dagger, dude, I think Dagger might be like Fool's, fool's Gambit a little bit. The Lightning Orb is already like cracked out of his mind. Let's upgrade the Poltergeist. I, I think that's kind of the vibe I want to go for. And then I think that we will try... Oh, no. Oh, no. No, don't go to the fire, dude. Oh, my God. You took damage. That That's actually, like, horrible. <laughs> on, a, on a room with no enemies, I took damage. Um, Alexa bad, Alexa bad. Give me the chest and let's open it and see what we get. A decoy orb. Enemies don't get their extra turn for your first reload. Ah, okay. That's kind of cool, dude. I mean, give me more treasure, right? I'm, I'm a treasure, treasure boy. I like treasure. Give me the treasure. Sounds good to me. I click. An apple. Increase your max health by 10. Easy enough. Easy enough. Sounds good to me. Now, do I want to go for... Like, how, how is this looking? This seems terrifying. <laughs> And, and we still, dude, we still, look, look at how big the floor is, man. And then there's a boss seemingly at the end. Um, very interesting. Let's, let, let's go for another question mark. Just, just to see, you know, some of these events that we can possibly get. But I, I do want to go for one of those big red ones. Stumble upon a mysterious altar. You feel yourself pulled towards it, and as you near it, you realize you are holding out potential offerings. One orb in each hand. Oh, I'll offer you a stone, 100%. You go to place the stone on the altar, but it sinks right into the solid slab of stone. As your offering disappears, you feel your other hand grow warm and realize your stone is now level 2. Okay, it's a free upgrade. Love to see it. I'm going to go for another question mark. These have been treating me pretty well, and then we're going to try to go for... What I assume is like an elite. Oh, this was just a fight. Okay. I'm fine with that too. So this is our upgraded stone now. It's a 3-6. That's pretty good, man. But hell, give me stones if they're going to be 3-6s. Now, now we get the legitimate 6 going. Uh, and that was a, a 48 damage attack. That's pretty decent. So here, as the dagger, you always want to hit the crit. Even a 14, dude, is way better than what would have been a 2 with that um so not great let's try to save I, I feel like so we're not gonna get 90 on this turn i i thought i was about to hit that damn bomb that i didn't want to hit but this is like extremely ideal because now another enemy pops in okay uh you make a liar out of me that's fine <laughs> and i'm i'm upset all of a sudden because i was gonna say the bomb does aoe damage so if another enemy was coming in we we could have made that happen so Palter begeist we we go through stuff when we go up 21 is still i mean that kills this guy right and it pierces this guy that is so disgustingly good actually so we we re, re, reset hit it with a reset good bomb in my opinion good crit as well uh he's dead actually that just wipes him. that was a good fight it really was. Um, I think we should heal, but like, hear me out though. What if the Palterbergeist became a 3-5? Or this stone became a 4-8? Dude, th these are kind of nuts. I mean, we're, we're starting to get into insane territory. Palterbergeist, just get cracked out of your mind. I'm going for what is a, appearingly to be a, a scary, scary enemy. I don't know how scary he is, but with scary enemy come big loot. 120? I mean, that's... That's a little scary, for sure. Poltergeist. Honestly, the amount that we're getting already, like 27 without hitting the crit is kind of nuts. So I'm, I'm good with it. The crit spawning right here is fine too. This is just our, our normal stone, um, which we, we, don't, we don't love to see it. Oh, dude, this is, it's a slime. It's a little cute little slime. Look at that very interesting so this is our, our good stone see that's what i'm talking about and it makes me mad every single time is it looked like we were gonna hit this but it did not actually so i am going to go big here 
I'm hitting that, which sets off that. Oh no, dude, that's such a bad play. Okay, we we need to hit these bombs, man. Like that's our that's our saving grace right now. That's horrible. <laughs> we at least hit a bomb, so they all take 50. But that was uh, it was really bad. It was a one damage um one damage boyo. So lightning orb potential to be really good not really good enough yet not really good enough yet but hear me out perfect that should wipe i mean it ain't gonna wipe everything on the screen but it's gonna wipe the close guys for sure 50 to all of them good good smacks all around actually good smacks all around that should wipe the front two beautiful Dude, them giving me these bombs right here? Uh, sign me the hell up, man. It's, it's just easy mode currently. And I'm, I'm just not hitting the reset. Because there's kind of no reason to, right? Like, you, you just want to prioritize hitting the, the damn bombs. Like, th this wipes the front guy again. And then we're going to do another uh, three. <laughs> get, get amped, right? Get amped. Um, crit... We have reset, but it doesn't matter. You're going to take 30, and I mean, that's an easy, easy wave. So, the match reorbshka multi ball. Orbzium. It's dense. It hits each peg three times. Oh, dude, these seem insane. Um, I have to take the match reorbshka. <laughs> Just because the name is the greatest thing of all time. Refresh pegs also grant a crit. What? Refresh? Oh, so if... Wait. Are you telling me that the green button now gives a crit as well? Because if that's the case, man, that's crazy. Like, that's insanely good. It gives you two possible things to go for. That'd be so good. I This is not where I wanted to go, um, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll go that way. And then we'll, we'll just sneak over to this guy after. In the woods, you find a clearing with a strange tree directly in the center. A hole in the trunk with brambles sticking wildly out of it. Reach into the brambles? Ah, sure, why not, right? You reach in, overgrowns, minor scratches, you add a bramble orb level too. Look at that. Okay, so we get a, a Bramble Boy. I'm, I'm fine with that. We didn't have one, right? So I, I would like to have it. We go for another seemingly elite enemy, although I'll tell you, I think that last wave was actually like stupid easy. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I'm just a gamer. Could that, could that be the case? Probably not. But it sure feels like there's some large gamer energy going on here. I'm going to go for the big bounce over... I always forget the bombs launch you, dude, and I do not prepare for it. And if I just prepared for it, we would probably have a, a much better time. This was still very good. Um, two bombs for 100, and then hit you for another 26. Uh, you wipe the entire competition, so how bad can it be? So Bramble level 6, 8 damage per Bramble level. It's a 3 damage per banger, uh, 6 on a crit. We're, we're happy to see the crit. Not, not an insane amount here, but uh, you make it work. You need to hit the crit for old Dagger Boy. And I'm going to tell you, dude, we're not hitting the crit. So I might as well just go to my next orb. So what what is... I don't get what multi ball. This is just chuck two balls. Okay, when we hit, it chucks another. Very interesting. Still a 50 damage boy. <laughs> So I'm, I'm pleased about it. Um, couple of bad plays here. The problem is we've got our, uh, oh, that's horrible. We, we've got our refresh sitting in a, a terrible spot over here. And that's making life a little bit, a little bit terrible. And I once again botch it up. Okay, we have to just beeline for the refresh. Now, the problem is we're going to hit the... The Polter is the perfect one here. Because it goes right back up and then hits a couple. This one's still not very good. Still not very good. 
This is honestly a little scary right now. I I don't love. Oh God, dude, we we just we're continuing to have some really horrible plays. How am I killing a 285? I I need to I need to smack, man. I appreciate the the green orb giving crit is good. That's that it's an insane upgrade, man. But we are like. I mean, we're, we're real screwed. Just send us over here. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Okay, he hits me. Very rude. Very rude. I don't know how much he hits me for. I didn't actually see. 42 kills him. That's good. Here's the problem, though. Okay, he already hit me for seven. Uh, super rude. And here's our Polterbegeist. Polterbegeist has... has Kinda of failed me right now. That is that's not very good. Dude, I'm gonna die though. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. The worst rolls. I'm gonna die and be made a fool. Uh, these are just like insanely bad, man. They're insanely bad. He hits for so much. Bramble is not going to help me in this scenario. Um oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, lightning, you gotta you gotta go big. <laughs> I'm toast. There, there is no path to success here. I, I just die, right? Like how, how do we get enough here? My dude's got 200, he's got 194 health. That's too much. I'm, I'm going to die right now. Oh, dude, how sad. Well, here I was talking smack a little bit, um, and then it got my ass handed to me. <laughs> I got completely annihilated. Let's start again, dude. Let's start again. Um, I'm, I got some level of confidence here that we can win. I, I think, so uh, there's something to say about the fact that we just got a insanely difficult layout of pegs that that made it difficult to uh to kind of do a lot of damage right okay you spawned another guy perfect that's when you hit the the bomb i was patiently waiting for another man to arrive that's nice um i also think that i'm i'm not prioritizing refreshing the pegs and i i need to Right, I, I think they're refreshing the pegs is, is a pretty important. It's a pretty important step in this uh, because that that peg doesn't move. Like he's gonna be right there forever, so we can prioritize getting him every single turn. Now we unfortunately got the dagger again, which I think is just becoming my worst nemesis in terms of um, orbs to pull because it's it's actually just bad. <laughs> Like, I don't want to be rude, but it's, it's bad. It, it's really difficult to prioritize getting the crit. And dude, well, now we're going to... We're, we're real toast now. Because this this dude rolled up into town like, hey, what up? Uh, and I'm not ready for him. Now, luckily, this is enough damage to kill him. It was a lucky round, honestly. The bomb kind of saved our butt here. So we're down six health. Um, not incredible, right? Just upgrade a stone. Two four goes to a three six. Could be worse. Um, I'll take the event. I don't know why you wouldn't go for the events, dude. They they seem to be insanely strong. Although I suppose these allow for upgrades. So there there is a little bit of a interesting vibe. Reach a clearing that is unusually slimy. Progress cautiously, but still lose your step. Three orbs fall into the slime, and you only have two hands. Which one do you let sink? Uh, <laughs> I think I'll let stone level one sink. Um, that's one of those the quick time events, man, that like, does it really hurt me? Um, as one that it hurts if you get it a lot later in the game, right? Uh, and I, I respect that. Oh, good slide, good slide, good slide. Uh, a little, little 32, little 32, we can be happy with a little 32. Uh, this is a good, good crit energy. 48. 
And we're gonna get the refresh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why couldn't we have this last time? That's an 168. We just clobbered him. He, he's just freaking dead as hell. Oh, hit the crit. Ah! That dang crit, dude. It's always in the worst damn spot. <laughs> like, wherever the worst spot could be, that crit. That crit's there if we're rocking the dagger, right? It, it's inevitable. Okay, so we're gonna glide right across that. Uh, I'm gonna need you to hit the crit. Oh my god, dude. Okay, that's when the dagger comes in handy, is when you can hit a 130 on a guy. Then you do this. Hit the refresh. Open up. Oh, I thought there was a chance, but it's still gonna kill this guy, so that's completely fine. 81, get smacked. Goodbye. This is just an easy level, I think. Um... But don't let me be the one to, to say anything. I'm chill with easy levels. It's a 36 banger. Honestly, not amazing. Um, but that's okay. Right? We, we can vibe with it. I, I think we easily hit 54 here. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. I mean, that's an 84 in the end. Get smoked. Uh, good round. Good round. Icicle. Regular attack pierces one enemy. Crit pierces all. Orbs pierce the first peg. This is intriguing. I will take it. Being able to choose piercing a peg is is very, very interesting. And I think there's there's good good plays we could do with that. Special pegs also contribute to damage. Oh, okay. So like uh bombs. I'm assuming that there will probably be other types of pegs um, as well, either later in the game, in the full release. I I'm assuming the demo ends after the first boss, um, but I mean, I, I don't actually know that <laughs> for a fact, so don't don't take my word for it. Um, that was a good round. Get smacked. 76. Icicle. Orbs pierce through the first peg. Attacks pierce enemies. Good stuff. Okay. Let's... How do I want to do this then? I, I, I think you just do like something like this. You, you don't got to get crazy with this. Um, and, and we're setting up potential for the... That was awesome. We're setting up potential for these bombs here in the nearby future. Oh, this is a great wave. Very, very good wave. Big 72 and the 50 banger. Both of you going to die. Goodbye. Wow, it's already out of here. Docked Orb deals no damage, heals you for each peg hit, but can only be used once per battle. Very interesting. Deal an additional 0.25 damage for each peg hit. Can target any enemy, can only be used once. This is... Oh, it's, it's an additional on top of the one per. These are both crazy. Um, You got to take the heal, though. Because now you don't have to heal outside of battle. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Frick you. Just because my aim's bad. No, it does mean that I deserve to take damage. That is just, it's just, uh, it's unexcusable. It's insanely terrible. Find a clearing with a strange tree. There's a hole in the trunk with brambles. I will reach in and grab a bramble too. Okay. So, I mean, look, we're, we're starting to already learn some of the, uh, some of the events. But it's the demo. Right? Um, and hell, Slay the Spire, you know all the events. So what's the difference, right? Um, it's okay. It's fun to learn them for the first time, but... It all comes down to uh, your own repeatable good gameplay in the end. I also like the Bramble being here right now. That's pretty good. Healing Orb is a great way to keep your health and spirits high. Okay. I do think you want to prioritize getting the crit on it, though. And, uh, healing for 24 men? I mean, sign me up. That's an insane amount of value. S How did you miss the crit? Are you serious? What a terrible dagger, man. What a terrible dagger. Okay. Big sad. Uh, that's 100 straight to their face. And then we'll kill the red guy as well. Goodbye. Very good wave. Very good wave. 
Icicle pierces the first one we do, so we pierce to hit the crit. Not too bad. Does good damage, 28. We're happy. Let's do a little refresh, keep things going. Now, now I have the vibes, dude. Now I have the vibes. I'm, I'm liking how we're playing. We just gotta keep things, uh, keep things going. 50 to all of you? Fine for me. We do have big green Chungus again, and he's terrifying. Like, honestly, he's super terrifying. This is a horrible wave for us. It's a horrible wave for us, uh, because you have to hit the crit. <laughs> and the crit was not hit. Okay. I will hit the crit here, though. Oh, God, I'm falling into my same freaking trap again. I'm not refreshing the orbs, man. I had piercing. That's so bad. That's so bad. Okay. Get this to crit. It's spicy, honestly, um, but that's okay. Pierce. We, we do kill the front guy, which has to count for something. Uh, here's the only problem. We got old fatty back again, um, and he's creating some problems for us. We did just hit him with a big time 72, which is nice, but he is still like real terrible, like real terrible. 27 is not good enough. I hit you with a crit and I'm actually going to go to the left with this. I think there's more potential for orbs. <laughs> I mean, 28 uh, is not amazing. It's not amazing. I think this is some big big refresh energy try it oh my god dude he's just smacking me around that probably the worst play i've ever done in my life i need to pay attention to the damn icicle orb man oh my god <laughs> this is definitely i can feel everybody raging just doing the classic like just give me the freaking controller right like, if your little brother was playing- Oh my god. Playing this right now, you'd be raging out of your mind. And I don't blame you. He's so bad at the game. Oh my god. Uh, we just lose, right? We just lose? We just lose. Okay, um... Old Big Green Fatty has my number, man. He has my freaking number. Anyway, that's Peglin. Uh, a game to keep your eye on for sure. Uh, definitely gonna, gonna play this when it comes out. I really enjoy it. I think it's a, a unique take on the, the Peggle roguelite genre that apparently exists. Um, <laughs> that blows my mind that it does. Um, but this is a great little game and I'm excited to continue to watch the dev for it. You can wishlist it on Steam using the link in the description. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good rest of your day. Bye bye